bunch of a bunch of music. I'm going to talk about how you can play a song called "Dancing in the Street" by Martha and the Vandalays. And, and if you want to play along with the recording, you may have to tune down just a little bit. It's not quite the E flat, B flat, G flat, D flat, A flat, E flat, but it's a little close. So you may have to go to the tuners and loosen them up just a little bit to kind of get in tune with Martha. Um, but we're going to work this lesson in standard tuning, and it does start off with this cool little lead lick, actually kind of in the brass part, where you can play open E for kind of a bass note, and then play open E twice. And then third fret on the B string, second fret on the high E string, open E, and then open B. So you got E, 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 D, F sharp, E, B. Might be kind of a cool lick to kind of follow for the intro. And that would kind of happen around an E major chord. When we play E major, first finger goes to the G on the first fret, second finger on the A string, second fret. And third finger on the D string, second fret. And if you strum all those together, it sounds an E major chord. It sounds really happy. Now you may also want to think about lifting off the third finger and making that an E7. Or you could take the pinky and go to the B string on the third fret and make it an E7 that way. And strumming wise, through the song, actually, you may want to do kind of a lot of downs. Actually, kind of an eight down count could kind of work on each chord. Or one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4 4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you could have the U with a down. intro then we go into our verse part and we do a lot of the E major until we go to an A major chord when we play A major first finger goes to the D on the second fret the second finger on the G second fret and third finger on the B string second fret and if you strum all those together that sounds an A major chord and it sounds really really happy now you may also want to think about lifting off the second finger and making that an A7 chord kind of getting a little nasty or you could readjust the fingers and put the pinky on the high E third kind of get an A7 that way from the A, then we'll be going back to our E major kind of for the end of our verse. So you really could do that with any of those variations we talked about. You have kind of the E, 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 starts on a G sharp 7 chord. Normally you do this as a 4th fret bar, 2nd finger on the G string on the 5th fret, 3rd finger on the A string on the 6th fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds like a G sharp 7 chord. It sounds really nasty cool. Now you could also kind of add in the B string on the 7th fret if you kind of dig on that actually. And then from the G sharp 7 we go to a C sharp minor chord. Normally you do this as a 4th fret bar too. 2nd finger on the B string 5th fret, Third finger on the D, sixth fret, pinky on the G string, sixth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C sharp minor. It sounds really sad. Now you may also want to kind of lift off the pinky and kind of make that a C sharp uh, seven or minor seven. And then from the C sharp minor seven, we go to an F sharp seven, where you could do this as a second fret bar, second finger on the G string, third fret, third finger on the A string, fourth fret. Kind of work that for an F sharp seven. And then from the F sharp seven, we go to a B seven. You could do this as a second fret bar too, with third finger on the D string, fourth pinky on the B string, fourth and count with that B seven. Or you might dig on a position B seven, where you do first finger on the D first fret, second finger on the A second, third finger on the G string second, pinky on the high second fret, count with that for your B seven. Or you can even kind of take the third finger and flatten them over the G B and E and make it a B nine. Kind of dig on that. So through that whole bridge part, we'd have kind of our G sharp seven. Of a chord.
chorus tag. Now something else you may want to think about adding to the song those bass notes. A lot of times when the first down, the down, down, up, up, down, up, or the down, up, down, up, up, down, up, or the down, 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 up, down, up. You can throw in a bass note for the chord. So you want to kind of play around with basses. On the E you'd have low E for the bass. On the A you'd have the A for the bass. And on the G sharp 7 we'd have low E for the bass. On the C sharp minor you'd have the A for the bass. On the F sharp 7 you'd have low E for the bass. A for the bass. So we tried that next first chorus with basses. We have E. Tune down just a little bit. I don't think it's quite to E flat, but pretty close. So, good luck.